Thanks for staying with us. We're still on this show, right, Mata? Go ahead, Abitula. Yeah, so the federal government is saying that they wouldn't have folded their hands to allow someone who want, is calling for a destabilization destabilization of the country at the same time the they are saying that um, the DSS is saying on the other hand that they do not take orders that they can go ahead and carry out the arrest without necessarily taking orders from the presidency so I'm wondering Who's if the DSS yes. according no, to the I papers this is independent show yes who was saying yesterday yeah. that yes. the DSS or no, well, SSS I don't call them DSS yes. but that's their uh, AK alias mm. their name is known to law yeah. State Security the Service. service yeah. they are, they are, they are a service for the state, for the Nigerian state, not for the presidency. Mm. Okay. The law that has created this organization has described it as State Security Service. So just independence, too. That's what you're saying. Not yes. independence. No, you are supposed to act for Nigeria, not for the government in power. Mm -hmm. that, that's very important. Because there's a difference between the security of the people in power and the security of the Nigerian state. And that's what they are saying. That's their but argument exactly. No. And they're working for you us. See, when, you see, when they are talking of somebody used the word revolution, they say he wants to destabilize. What are the what are the allegations? Mm. What are their facts? They say she will travel to Dubai to collect millions of dollars to remove the Buhari regime from office. Where's the money? No. Mr. Shore, when we now Put it to them that Mr. Shore has never stepped the shores of Dubai or any part of UAE in his life. The allegation collapsed. So they have to say, okay. Up another one. It was, uh, he had engaged himself in terrorist activities. Okay, proof. Okay. They went to a court behind us and got an order to detain Shore for 45 days to investigate this alleged terrorism. Mm. At the end of the investigation, nothing was found. OK, it's OK. Let's go to court all the same. Because it, was, it became embarrassing. Mm. Meanwhile, they went to him in detention. Can we reach a deal? Mm. Please, oh. leave us alone. I said, what do you mean? <laughs> Operate within the law. I've never operated outside the law. So we had when they couldn't they succeed, true. they met me. Mm. And they wanted me to persuade him to agree mm. to sign his death warrant. And I told them off. That was when the government decided to file a charge. The charge is in court. No responsible government mm. can subject a citizen to a media trial. Once you have charged him, mm. bring your witnesses to court. But don't go to the media. You send the machinery of the presidency yeah. of the country my question, sir. To, to levy allegations. Now, no, just a minute. Okay. The case has been adjourned at their instance because they are not ready for mm -hmm. trial. Yes. The government is not ready for trial. They prefer to keep him without okay. trial. Study. Mm. And then run commentary. Mm. So, so my, my question is why is President Mohamed Buhari now, as the president of the country, doing everything against the same values that people died for to enshrine democracy in this country. One of which is, of course, disobedience of court orders, because if failure to work within the tenets of the law like this, and I said the president because the head of the DSS, Mr. Bichi, reports directly, the head of the SSS now, reports directly to the presidency, and he cannot claim not to be aware of the activities of the SSS I, I, I as think, regards this case. I think you media people, We'll have to throw that question to the president. And why it is important is this. General Muhammad Ubari and others president had Muhammad the Ubari. protest in Kano in 2003. Oh, okay. Okay. The police disrupted the rally, mm -hmm. violently disrupted the rally, tear gas them. The late, his deputy, the late Dr. Shiba Okadibo, passed on on account of the poisonous gas inhaled by him a couple of days later. The AMPP leaders, led by General Muhammad Dubari, contacted me. Please, can you help us challenge this law that requires us mm. to ask for police permit before we can express ourselves in our country? We went to court. Mm. I didn't charge them. I didn't pro bono. Federal High Court, we won. Court of appeal, we won. 
today, that is the law that Nigerians can protest. Whether you call it a revolutionary protest or reactionary protest, it is not a criminal offense. Yeah. Unlike, unlike those who remove a democratically elected government. In 1983, mm -hmm. that group was led by General Muhammad Obama. Right, yeah. mm -hmm. right. So, sir. In 2011, I beg you, in 2011, following the revolution in Egypt, mm. President Muhammad Buhari urged Nigerians, please emulate, be prepared to have a revolution like the Egyptian revolution. That revolution of Egypt claimed over 800 lives. So who is talking of destabilizing a country? A country. Yeah. We have to round up. We, we, we need to office. highlight the fact that Bakari wasn't rearrested. That's the um, Olawali Bakari. Yes. Yes, he wasn't rearrested. He was just sure. And they were saying that. They even claimed that I promised to produce him. If you didn't want to arrest him, why would I be promising to produce him? So, but, you know, a lot of lies. So but what is important, I beg you, there is no warrant of arrest. Mm -hmm. Which is what is important. To justify. She will arrest, arrest. Mm -hmm. There is no detention order issued by any court to justify she will arrest detention. What they are doing, these guys are operating outside the ambit of our So law. the person responsible for this is our president because, of course. like Lima established, the president, um, the uh, SSS reports to the president. The president gives order on everything that takes place. So which, who, who should we be talking about, talking to no, now no, is the no, president. No, even assuming, like the uh, Gaiba Show said yesterday, that they don't have to take instructions from the president. Mm. Now that the whole world... The president should speak up that he stands He's with the law. Condemning the invasion of a court, the president has to speak up. Speak. And what is important, please note this, in Malam Gaba Shew's statement, mm. he never ever, mm. he never ever defended the invasion of the court. No, he didn't. Neither did he speak on the capture of Shewore inside the court. He didn't. As a, as, a, as a person representing Shewore, what would make you feel that justice has been served to Shewore right now? What would make you feel like justice has been served concerning him? What would they do? What would the president say? What would the SSS say that would no, make you feel justice has been served? I don't want them to say anything. It them. is to follow the rule of law. Yeah. There is another for the release of this man. If you want to get him back to detention, you must get go back to a court exactly. and get another. And that is what is done in any civilized society. Yeah. Yeah. Even under the military. Mm. Huh? When General Muhammad Dubari was in power, mm. we never went through this odious experience. Mm. Mm. All court orders for the release of political detainees or criminal suspects were enough. complied with. Mm. Mm. There were insinuations quickly that uh, he could have been of, uh, at flight risk, and that is one of the reasons they had to come into the, by, into the courts to get him. Flight risk where? To run away, the like in Nambi. They, they cited the Nambi no, can. You know, you know, you know these guys, the, the, the law does not speak in speculation, exactly. does not uh, congesture. All those arguments were made in court, mm -hmm. and the court addressed them. After and that was why the court restricted your arrest mm. movement to Abuja. They have his passport. Of course. Yeah. I have so to, I have, that I have they could also monitor him. Mm. We have to round up, sir. But I want you to just tell what are, so now that he's been detained again, what are the next steps? What no, are you no, doing? Of course, we are not going to operate illegally like mm -hmm. his mm -hmm. abductors. We are going to take advantage of the provisions of the law mm. because it cannot be justified. And mind you, we're not talking of Shewere alone. Hmm? Uh, Kone Sambu Dasuki has been granted bail now by five different courts. <coughs> so we have and precedents of in the same way. <coughs> it was released by Kuje Prison, now Correctional Center. At the gate of the prison, he was, he was rearrested. Abducted. That's not even as bad as this one. This one was so within the courts. We have had municipal courts. And the regional court in Abuja that have asked the government to release this man. They refuse mm -hmm. to release him. Of course, you're also aware of uh, the case of Ezak Izaki and his wife yeah, yeah. and others. Mm -hmm. At the state, they say, oh, these people want, they want to be detained. They are enjoying themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another time, they said, if we release you, he may be knocked down on the highway. And on another occasion, they said, oh, Mr. Fallon has not brought his shorties. And the court, the it. judge had to ask the lawyer when he said that, I beg your pardon. Who is in charge here? Mm. I have signed that people be released. You was, your clients were served the release order. You are asking the shorty that have approved mm. to be brought to your client. Mm. 
What is going on? And of, of course, course the, the lawyer had to drop that. Unfortunately, we have to wrap up. But let me just take a few tweets, Nima. Nima wanted to take okay, a few tweets. So, um, Ranzi says, good morning, ladies, good morning. And prays for, she is praying for Mr. Femi Fala now. So when I see you, sir, I never miss uh, Mr. Ghani following me. My question is, why did the federal government and the SSS, why are they so interested in Shawore? Is it a threat to them or to the country? Then Omar Balao says, I want the, your view crew to second spec Shawore's case. Mr. Falano is sitting down to protect the interests of his clients. No government in the world would sit down idly and allow a partaker in an election, but who came back later and he lost to, after he lost to demand a revolution. Those two tweets. So, yeah. Well, in, 19, in 2003, mm -hmm. 2007, 2011, President General Muhammadu Buhari lost elections to the PDP. And on each occasion, he went to the street to lead demonstrations, to mm -hmm. call for revolution. Yes. And the records are there. Please let nobody kid no, us about no. what is going on. Unfortunately, that's all we can take. Thank you so much, Sam. Uh, we'll definitely continue to follow up on this story and see what happens. Uh, because right now, Our country everybody depends on the rule of law. is we want the rule all of eyes law on Nigeria right now. Operate under the law. The issue is obeying court orders.